Shout out to Kevin Smith for sending me the story. And I'm sorry that I didn't get to the story a whole lot sooner. Um, Like I said, I always keep getting backed up with a bunch of emails, but I'm talking about it now. And this is coming out of Alabama, where you have this man by the name of Alvin Kennard Jr., who was just released from prison on what would have been a life sentence after serving 36 years in prison for stealing something or products that netted about $50 and some change. You heard that correctly. This man was in prison and was given a life sentence for something that cost way less, half of $100, uh, literally. Let me just get into the story. It's this in guidelines that reset the state's three strikes law. Now, y'all just heard that right there. The state of Alabama had a three strikes law. Now, he, he has been in jail since 1983. And Alabama, the state, had a three strikes law. What did I say about the domino effect? What one state will have, it can eventually trickle down and other states will follow. What ended up happening when Bill Clinton got into office years later? We're talking about well over 10 years later. He implemented the the three strikes law that literally got implemented to the entire establishment. Who knew that the state of Alabama actually had this in place already? But then again, this is Alabama we're talking about. This is Alvin Kennard, age 58, had been serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole Mind you, this is just for $50, y'all. He didn't murder anybody. He didn't rape anybody. He didn't kidnap anybody. He just took $50. That's all it took for this guy to get 36 years of his life taken away from him. And I'm going to pull this back together with a story that I talked about earlier this year. But his sentence was changed to time served by Judge David Carpenter in Jefferson County on Wednesday. The state's Department of Corrections had to process Kennard out of the system, which is why he wasn't immediately released after the ruling. He was released from the William E. Donaldson Correctional Facility just outside of Bessemer, Alabama on Friday. The Alabama Department of Corrections said in a statement, we've been. We've just been praying and trusting in God that this day could come and is here. And we're so grateful to God. Kennard's niece, Patricia Jones, told NBC affiliate WVTM. Kennard was convicted of robbing a bakery January 24, 1983, and a felony that netted him $50 and 75 cents. The bakery crime came after Kennard had previously broken into a vacant service station, leading him to plead guilty to three felony counts of burglary and larceny in 1979. Due to that previous conviction, he was sentenced to life behind bars under the three strikes provision of Alabama's Habitual Felony Offender Act. But in 2013, the Alabama Sentencing Commission adopted new guidelines, which, if they had been in place when Kennard robbed the bakery, would have made his previous crime not serious enough to trigger a life sentence without parole. Had these new standards been in place, then Kennard couldn't have been in prison for any more than 20 years. His attorney, Carl Crowder, said he could have been eligible for parole. After 10 years, Kennard told the judge Wednesday that he is still remorseful for his crimes. I'm sorry for what I did. Kennard dressed in orange and white jail garb said, said I was wrong. The district attorney's office did not oppose the change in his sentence. Prosecutor Lane Tober said, however, that his office did not err in applying the law. But let me be clear. This is not about fifty dollars. Tober said. I can agree it's not about no damn $50 because the fact that this man spent a lot of his life, 36 years in jail over fucking $50 is absurd. Kennard said that after his release, he plans to live with the family in Bessemer and work in carpentry. Mind you, this man is now 58 years of age, which means he went into jail or into prison when he was in his early 20s. I hate coming across stories like these because it's like, that's time to waste. That's time gone. He's not going to get that back. There's no amount of money that they could pay him. It sounds like they, he's not going to get any type of restitution because 
it's not because they're going to say he wasn't wrongfully convicted. But still, at the same time, he's not going to get any of that time back. Now, if y'all remember, there was a story that I talked about. It may have been earlier this year or sometime last year where you had that palm colored woman who I think is a news anchor now on one of those networks. I want to say it's Fox News who it came out that she had robbed some store. And it was back in the 80s. I think it was, she was in college at the time. And I forgot what she robbed, too. Um, Many of y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, They didn't give her any type of jail sentence. They definitely didn't. They gave her a slap on the wrist. So my thing is this. Who did this or who uh does this so-called three strikes law? And I'm being sarcastic and rhetorical here. Well, who does this a little law? or act really go against because every time they kicked up that three strikes law every time someone got in jail behind it or went to jail behind it they look like this guy we know those laws are put into place for us nobody's stupid they aren't stupid they they try to act naive about things but they ain't stupid neither are we they think we're dumb but we're not I'm just glad that the guy, this man is finally out, but still 36 years. Like that's three, that's almost four decades that he's lost. And he said, he's going to find a, he's going to do a job in carpentry. He's at the age where he should almost be into retirement. And he's now having to just now get into a career. Like a legit career. Now you're gonna have some of those palm colored uh individuals that's gonna come and say, Well, if you do the crime, you must do the time. Well, let me tell you right now, the crime does not fit the time he had to serve behind bars by far. Fifty dollars? Really? That's all it took. And like his attorney said, or whoever that was that made that quote, let me see who it was. The district attorney. No, the prosecutor, like you said, it wasn't over no $50. They'll have you to believe it, but it was most likely something else. They just needed to have somebody in jail behind this. And like I said, up until today, I did not know that Alabama had this three strikes thing in place for their state. Now, mind you, like I said, that was back in the 80s when he got sentenced under that. Bill Clinton signed that into law in the early 90s during his first term. And what did I say about domino effects? What happens in one state can carry over to the next. It may not happen immediately, but it could and possibly will happen. You just got a whiff of it right here with this case. Y'all let me know what you think about the down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.